Look, I know you all wanted this. So you could get access to my DNA and perform your creepy experiments. But I figured it was about time to get a new one. <clears throat> that one is full of old beard hairs and cigar ash, not to mention the cigar holes. There we go. Nice, no holes. I don't think it fits. It does, it's a tight fit. There you go. Okay, that's better. It's, uh... It's got a different texture. This one is kind of thicker. Bouncier. Oh well. As long as it works, and it does. Good to see everybody on the program today, everyone on Facebook. Toby Noble, Robin Woodle Roman, everyone on Twitch, que uh, Queried Knight, and of course all the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today, Sean Fernango, Slatty Bartfast, Ant444, Cat5, um, Laura L. Stodd, Shadow787, Bingo Bill, Mr. Virus, Wade Speakerman, and it's Cass Foster, who became a bronze ox just a moment ago. Thank you so much, Cass Foster. It's Q Red Knight, says Queried Knight. L listen, if it's Q Red Knight, then don't spell it Queried Knight. Spell it Q Red Knight. You can't blame me for pronouncing it the way it's spelled, Queried Knight. All right, Q Red Knight. Thank you for the correction. From now on, it'll be... Q Red Knight. Well, we're back with more Baldur's Gate. And listen, listen, everybody. You know I'm loving the characters in this game. I I think all of the characters are fascinating. Especially Gale. He's hilarious. Uh, but it's the story. Man, it's just it's a weird story. <laughs> like, I don't know. I still don't know what's going on. Like, we're, we're towards the end of Act 1. This is broadcast number 12 of Baldur's Gate. And I have no idea what's going on. There's a slug in my brain. I lost an eye to a bard. We're underground talking to mushroom people. And now, for some reason, killing dwarves. Because... I guess, you know? Uh, the, the overarching plot of this game has not gone... It, well, if, if there's one thing I can say, it's that it's not a, a boring, unoriginal story. It's definitely original. Uh, I've never seen a story like this before. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if it's really resonating with me, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Even though I think all of the characters are amazing, I'm, s I'm still just lost and confused. I'm tired of being underground. We've been in the underground for weeks now. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what to do. When we last left off last week, we tried... Um, rescuing this guy named Nier, only for him to try and kill us when we did, which aggroed every dwarf in the Grimdark, whatever it was called. So we had to reload a save. And I think I actually have to go that way to proceed with the primary quest. So uh, there was another alternative, and we had to find a, a gnome that had gotten lost, and she had something on her inventory. But in so doing, we got so turned around in this underground dwarf place. Um, and we, we ran into all sorts of weird, strange demon monsters. Then there was a glitch in the floor, and Barty Horn fell through the roof of a, a room below. And then the characters all got separated. We finally got them back together. And we got chased by a bunch of slimes that apparently are just really deadly, deadly slimes. We managed to survive, and we got everyone back together, but I, I feel like we spent the entire time just trying to escape slimes, and 
not die in this grim, dark place. Now, there was, uh, there was a path towards a forge that we passed. Uh, I was going to go down there, but then Chad said that I really needed to go uh, get Mir's head first. We have to bring the head back to the mushroom guys or something. But this is all besides the point. Like, we, we need to find a way to Moon Glade or Moon Glow or some sort of moon place. Uh, and I forget why. Because there's something there that can help with the slug in the face. I'm not sure. Like I said, the plot is a tad convoluted. And I'm still coming to terms with it. At any rate, uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm giving this game a fair shake. I know that it's a, it's a dearly beloved game. It's been nominated for God knows how many awards at the, the Game Awards. And it's probably going to win Game of the Year. It probably will. But even really, really great games might not be my kind of game. So I'm, I'm going to play it again today. Uh, but I don't know how much longer I want to play it. I'm really hoping the plot picks up. I'm hoping that the story kind of moves along a bit. And we get some explanations and we start to figure out, we learn why we were kidnapped and why we were on the Nautiloid vessel and why they decided to put a slug in our eye and how we managed to escape and where the dragons came from at the very beginning. Like, they haven't explained a thing yet. Or maybe they have, and I'm just thick and I'm not figuring it all out. Anyway, so I'm going to give it a little bit, uh, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, we're going to play again today, and uh, but uh, just bear in mind, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be playing Baldur's Gate. If it really picks up, maybe I'll play it to the end. If not, maybe we'll switch to Phantom Liberty, which is something that I've been meaning to finish. Angel Stuff says, Happy Wednesday, Oxen friends. Hey there, Angel Stuff. So good to see you. Cat5 says, uh, You learn more in Act 2. Well, thanks, Cat5. I would just like to get there. I would like to get to Act 2. I am ready. I'm kind of done with Act 1. There was this grandma in a cave that was crazy tough. We couldn't even get to her to kill her because there was poison everywhere, and I was just done with that. I walked away. And now we're in a, a dwarf kingdom, and we got to get ahead for some reason. Like, I just want to get to Act 2. I'm ready. I'm ready to be done with the Underdark. And I really hope the story picks up. The Wiz 453 says your new foam mic, uh, mic coat does make your voice sound better. Really? There's a difference in the voice based on my little pop pop filter here? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Alora says the mountain pass leads to Act 2. Well, they should both lead to Act 2. According to the Druid, there were two paths that lead to the next section. We could go to the mountain pass or the Underdark. And the Druid Halgen, or whatever his name is, said that the Underdark was the easier path of the two. So that's why I took it. But this has not been easy at all. Not, not been easy. James17 says, Ox streaming while I complete mindless office work makes it bearable. Game on Ox. Well, thank you so much, James. Good luck with the office work today and game on. John Washburn says, Mountain Pass gives more info and items. Well, now you tell me. Wish I would have known that before I chose to go into the Underdark. Because I just, I feel like I'm doing a bunch of radiant quests for a bunch of mushrooms whose kingdom is under attack by dwarves, which is completely beside the point. That's not why I'm there. I'm just there to get to the Moonglade Tower or whatever it is to try and learn more about the plot. And this, this isn't doing it. <laughs> this isn't doing it. Odd X says, I know you don't like lowering difficulty, but as someone new to D&D mechanics, you might try lowering it to get through the fights to more story faster. I don't even think I'm playing it on a very difficult difficulty. I think it's pretty... I'll take a look at it when we get into the game. Shaggy the Viking says... Uh, uh, Hilsa, Oxhorn and Chat. Hilsa, Shag Shaggy the Viking. 
The way is on Twitch says, I send a reply to one of your new vids on how to save your computers and a layout for saving heat while you're smoking. Okay, The Wiz. Uh, great. I'm assuming that's on YouTube somewhere in the comments section. So I'll have to go check those out in a little bit. I appreciate it. Thank you, The Wiz. Cat5 says you can get the dwarf to side with you against Nier. And you need to do the mountain stuff to get more story for Lizel. Uh, yeah, I want to get more story for Lizelle. Uh, can I go back? At this point, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost through the Underdark, right? So, can I go back? Rachel says, move to story mode, Ox. No shame. Look, I just don't have it in me to play on story mode. I think I would rather just stop playing the game than switch to story mode. I'm just saying. I don't think it... I've got the shame. There is shame in that, Rachel. Why? Why? Why is it doing this? Did it crash? File verification. It did crash. Larian crash reporter. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to report a crash. Close. Let's launch this again. Well, that was weird. First time I've had a crash with Baldur's Gate, I think. DirectX 11. No, I'm not interested in going to the shop. Thank you very much. Please stop opening a tab. In the browser, I want to play the game. Wow. Julian Z says, good morning, Ox. So good to see you on this Baldur's Wednesday. Hope you're not cold again this morning. Not too invested in this game. So if you move on, that's cool. Wow, my sound settings changed. What? W Why did that happen? The game crashes and then changes the default sound output for the game. There we go. Cat5 says, talk to the guard just outside the main room. All right, I'll try. I thought I talked to everybody. Uh, Julian's, uh, yeah, I'm not really that invested. Like, I like all of the characters. I think they did a great job with the people. The people are hilarious and fun and interesting. It's just, the story is just meandering and... There's no focus, I guess. Is, and, and maybe that's not not, uh, not supposed to have a focus because it's a big open-world RPG and it's not really open-world. You go from one small area to another small area and you can't backtrack, so I wouldn't call it open-world. But um, uh, there's just so much to do. And I, that's the kind of game it is. I think the focus is on letting you choose the order in which you do things, even if it's an order that doesn't make sense narratively. And I feel like I've probably chosen the wrong order in many of many of the quests that I've chosen to do. At any rate, let's uh, get back into the game and try and figure out a way out of the Underdark. Okay, trying this again. Please don't crash if I click a button. There we go. Grant Snyder says replay value. Yeah. And that's another thing. It's it's 
impossible to get everything in one playthrough, and I think that's by design. They don't want you to get everything in one playthrough. This game is built for replayability. So you can try out different companions and different builds and all of that. Okay, and we're back at the boat. <laughs> we spent all that time trying to get through here, and uh, we, we logged off right back at the boat. We've got the executed drow. All right, these are the spiders that we convinced. There were spiders over there that we convinced to leave. We don't really know what that means. Is that a hole? Okay, medical crate. Okay, we're here. No. We're here. There's the boat. This is the boat that took us. We could go take it back. Um, there's Harper's stash. We tried getting there. I think I've given up on trying to get to there. Uh, because this is many different levels, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Free the deep gnomes, clear the cave in, kill Nair. Alright, so this is where we need to go to uh, complete the primary plot, but then there was... This is what we were trying to get to. Go to the Deep Gnome's hiding spot. And we, we, we traveled uh, we all through here trying to find it. What's this black square in the middle of the map? Okay, so my thinking when I logged off last week was if we could f go back up through here, find a way to travel over here, and get that. Go to the Deep Gnome's hiding spot. Let's try it, see how much trouble we get into, and if not, then we'll just come back down here and um, try to get through that again. Alright, so we've got this. Let's head up here and talk to them. Need to find a way forward. Hey, stick shit! Another uh, stick shit! <laughs> Piss pot! You flirt! Now jump to it! Or it's up to the lift, and straight to the shadows! Cruelty like that poisons a soul. Till one day, you drop dead, or the person you're fucking with snaps and puts a sword in your eye. True soul, yeah? Tell the sergeant we won't move a pebble. Your captive is most entertaining. How might I get one of my own? I hear a true soul was trapped. Shouldn't you be helping? Or you disgust me, slaver. How do you live with yourself? Let's try this one. Hold out your hands, Oon. You heard the man. Let's see him. Uh, you want to see my hands? What for? Less our skin, more showing. All right, fine. Take a look. Five working fingers. Nice and meaty. Prime for digging. You want near? You claw him out. My drinking hand's busy. <laughs> we could attack. We could leave. We could say, I don't like your attitude. You're quite the blowhard. I can appreciate that. Let's try that. And you'd appreciate how few shits I have to give you. Hey! Stick shit! Where's my drink? Coming right up, piss pot. Stick shit talks like smug, and he wrecked that shrew village. And then shagged it. <laughs> Here's to smug, nasty prick. Well, that was delightful. Well, stop. Piss off. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to say, no need to be rude. I'm on your side. My side? I heard the piss pot. You're a true soul. Same as near. So like I said, piss off. Uh, let's see. No, you don't understand. Phyllis sent me to save you. Ha! <laughs> Who 
Lola was mad as a rutting badger, but she weren't a friend of any true soul. What about piss off, do you? Hold on. You aren't just talking shit, are you? Then shh. Keep it low. Don't let them hear you. Now, why in the hottest hells would a true soul be helping me? We could say I'm not really a true soul, or it doesn't matter, do you want my help or not? Or what can I say? I just love killing. Or no one should serve a master. You deserve to be free. Free? From your mouth, I hope. Go on then, split them open. I'm not gonna stop you. But you better finish the job. Because I'll be the one to suffer if you don't. <clears throat> Ain't you hearing me, prickhole? Piss off to every last hell. Right, well, that didn't really help us much. Malchris says, yay, another day with Oxhorn. and have a great stream. Thank you so much, Malchris. All right, can we open the gate? Shit. You got one of Nair's moon lanterns, Jog. Uh, a moon lantern? What's that? Well, uh, they're pixie lamps. If you're headed to Moonrise, you won't last without it. Moonrise! That's where we need Top to go! Top lands are clogged with the death dark. Choke you in no time. Okay! Alright, we found the way out. Death dark? What are you talking about? You daft? It's there in the name. Shadows up there black as the lower dark. A few sniffs could fell an ogre. Must be the Shadow Curse. We'll need Nier's Lantern if we want to get through it. Okay, Moonrise Towers holds the answers we seek. Curse or not, we can't turn back now. Or that Moon Lantern is the key to our survival, and that means freeing Nier. Let's just hope you're right. Otherwise, we're just aiding the enemy. Okay, well, that makes a little bit more sense. I was wondering... Why was the game putting such heavy emphasis on this near guy? Uh, why did we have to save him? Why did we have to talk to him? Now it makes sense. He's got a lantern we need to get to the moon glade or whatever it is. Okay, well, now we found the way out. Now we just gotta figure out how to survive that encounter with near. You ain't been the same since I rolled right. Ain't been the same. I say you're scamming the lot of us. Cat5 says, the door by the dwarf's tossing bodies has a secret door top left. Follow that, and it will lead to the explosives. It's on the left where you are. Okay, yeah, this is where they were throwing the bodies. And this is the room I was trapped in after I glitched through the roof in my last broadcast. Uh, but you're saying that there's a, a secret door over here with the explosives? Anyway, I was coming this way because I want to find what's her name. But she's way over there. Find the explosives. Go to the deep gnome's hiding spot. All right, that's what we're going to try and find. But in the meantime, we've got Fables of Faerun 6, the cheerful deep gnome. Deep in the underdark lived Doyle, a plucky deep gnome slave. Day and night, he and his brother toiled for five Dregar, or Dwegar smiths, mining iron and mithril until their arms ached and their eyes burned. Faster, cried the, the Dwegar. Rock slide. And faster, Ain't Doyle would dig. The same. I say you're scamming the lot of us. Even into the night while his master slept, smiling all the while. How can you smile while we slave? asked the brother. Because I wish our masters much success, was Doyle's reply. Words of the Dwegar's quality weapons and armor quickly spread. To meet demand, the Dwegar brought in more slaves and began to forge a stockpile um, forge and stockpile their wares at the dig site. Yet Doyle dug Damn. harder than ever. Get over it. His wide grin never faltering. Soon the Dwegar's operation grew so great that they commanded 20 deep gnome slaves. The day the 21st came, Doyle laughed and whooped so loud his Dwegar captors sought to silence, sought silence in a nearby grotto. The slavers returned to find Doyle and his fellow deep gnomes clad in robust mithril armor and carrying mighty iron weapons all taken from the slaver's stockpile. 
The five Duegar You ain't been quickly. the same since that rock slide. Ain't been the same. I say you're scamming the lot of us. For they were no match for 21 armed deep gnomes. And Doyle, he never stopped smiling. Beneath the fable, an increased reader, or an incensed reader has written a brief review. Garbage! This where the gnomes are getting bright ideas? Anyhow, I don't get it. The list makes no damn sense. Well, it means the more slaves you have, you're basically building an army around your slaves. Also, is that true? Is there like a stockpile of mithril around here? All right, if we loot this, are we gonna get in trouble? Tired. Get over it. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Oh God. Just looting a body, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Kitchen plaque. Eat and drink freely, for the lady doth come. The lady, the goddess Shar? Because we remember this is some sort of Shar place, a Shar temple. All right, let's see if we can, see if there's anything over here. Uh, arrows. Right, I'm not seeing anything. They're starting to rot. Okay, well, this is the room we came down in from. And this uh, dumb waiter is what we came out of in our last episode. You see, I just don't want to, I don't want to aggro those slimes again. They're right up here, right? But now we have the entire party. Still, 52 hit points per slime. That's a lot. How many are there? There's two. Stare into the eye. Your reflection stares back. The longer you stare, the more uneasy you feel. There is a presence. You are seen. We can reach out to the presence, poke the eye, smile and wave, attack the eye. Let's reach out to the presence. Your consciousness surges into the orb. First, there is blackness. Then a pair of unblinking red arms. What? What? Oh, the slimes. How did the slimes catch me? I was in the middle of dialogue. How did they find me? I'm on the other side of a wall. What the heck? You lost Gale, says Chad. Oh my god, you're right. Where's Gale? He was with me just a minute ago. Get over it. Alright, I'm reloading my save. How did they aggro through a wall? I'm standing there for three minutes solid, and then just randomly while I'm in the middle of dialogue, they aggro. Okay, let's see if we can make sure our party is all together this time before we go towards the slimes. He's still up there. Dear God. 
Oh, for Pete's sake. What is he doing way up there? All right. The path less traveled. Come on, Gale. With diligence and care. go okay that's where the spiders were and the whole party is back together yay can't give up now can't slow down oh there's a door right here Hello. Oh, I didn't even notice this. There's a door right here. Where does this go? Cat5 says you can fast travel from your map to the waypoint. Do I have to go as a group or can it be individually? That might be worth a look. Collapsed archway. I'm way too big. Let me work my magic. Very Hey. Oh. Oh man. There's a giant chest back here. Cool. Uh, but I can't loot anything. Wait, don't I have a time to rest? Oh, I don't... Do I still have that helmet that lets me trance? Yeah. Mask of the Shapeshifter. Okay. Now, how do I shapeshift? Shapeshift level one. I don't want a small race. Elf. Uh. Dro. Elf. Githyanki. Half elf. Half orc. Human. Tifling. Where's the small races? Here we go. Halfling. Omniam. I'm way too big. I'm still too big. Uh Numb? You got this. I'm way too big. Okay. Well, none of these races work. Um, all right, well, that's not going to work. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Let's see. Let's Do get I have on a with spell it. that makes me smaller? She can be a gnome, halfling. I want to be like a squirrel.
But I don't think I have the right spells. No rest for the wicked, I see. see what what scrolls do I have invisibility gaseous form transform yourself or an ally into a tiny gas cloud it can't fall and fits through small openings it's very hard to damage okay so I could get in and loot but how do I get back out False life, dark vision. Wait, how do I get my, my regular form back? Uh, do I go back to half orc? Okay, well I don't lo I don't look like myself again. Here. Um There we go. Okay, uh let's see. End of duration will change you back. Thank you. So the problem is that if I'm a gaseous form, here let's quick save. If I'm in a gaseous form, I won't be able to loot which is the entire point. So if I change out... Okay, let's try it. I can loot it, yay! Smoke powder, hey. Swift as my feet can carry me. What a cool spell. I got lucky. All right. Oh my god, there was a button right there. <laughs> ah, come on. after all of that, there was a button on the wall right there that I missed. Uh, <laughs> well, I got it. And what did I get? Latest. Arrow of transposition. Teleport where you fire this arrow. Arrow of salving. Cures you of poison. Uh, camp supplies and a cap of curing. Okay. Well, I wasted that scroll, but that was fun. <laughs> Let's talk to this orb again. We were in the middle of a conversation. I guess we can't talk to it as a cloud of gas. Let's uh, have the cleric talk to, to it. Do. Wait, she doesn't have the slug in the brain. Wait, no, they all do, don't they? Yeah, that's why we're together. You stare into the eye. Your reflection stares back. The longer you stare, the more uneasy you feel. There is a presence. You are seen. Okay. Chad wanted me to poke the eye. Let's try that. Boop. The eye is unbothered by your prodding. 
<laughs> That's great. Unbothered. The scrying eye seems oblivious to you. What's cooking? You stare into the eye. Your reflection stares back. Oh, I have the magic touch. You stare into the eye. Your reflection stares back. The longer you stare, the more uneasy you feel. There is a presence. You are seen. Our only option now is to attack the eye. Is that going to make everybody hostile? Okay, so by poking the eye, I lost my opportunity to reach out to the eye. But I'm really curious as to what that would have done, so... Let me go back here. Oh god, I honestly don't care enough about it to have to, have to reload a save. So, back to my gaseous cloud here. Uh, let's see. How do I end this? Condition until long rest? Can't attack, cast spells, or talk. How do I turn it off? Right, I don't think I can turn it off until I long rest. But I really don't want to do that. But now that we know there's a button right there, we can save the spell. Should have an icon to get rid of it. I mean, I, I couldn't find one. I was able to turn off my... Uh, my transformation into a gnome, but I couldn't turn off the gaseous form. Back. Light on my feet. That's curious. you stare, the more uneasy you feel. Your consciousness surges into the orb. First, there is blackness. Then, a pair of unblinking red eyes. Pain grips your skull as the eyes stare into you. Then, look away. The connection is broken. Okay, interesting. He's just hanging out with me out here. Like, he usually wanders around, but right now he's just hanging out with me. I wonder what happens if we attack it. How many hit points does it have? It has eight. Could we attack it before it, like, summons everyone? All right, I'm going to quick save and try. Nope. How did I only do two damage? Let me try again. I want to. I want to kill it with one hit. I should probably use Carlac. She's stronger.
Okay, Carlac. Soldier. Four to fifteen damage. I did it! I killed the eye! Yay! Okay! Ooh, camp supplies. Mr. Virus says, so what'd you get? We got it not looking at us anymore. That's what we got. How much farther can I go? Oh, okay. Now Does we need to go and made? kill the slime. You survive a 10 day on your own. Now what's interesting is what we got in the chest. If we go to latest, we got... An arrow of transposition. And an arrow of salving. Now, I find in games like this, they tend to give you things that you're gonna need. For example, they gave us smoke powder satchels, which we need to blow open that hole to get to Nair. So what is, at what point are we going to get to a section where we need arrow of transposition? I don't know. Get over it. Come on, everybody. Why aren't they following me? There we go. God, fleeing from those slimes in the last broadcast was awful. And right, I'm gonna quick save here. Let's have Carlac. What's the story? Go first. Me? Wow. All right. Well, let's try this. Ultra Jelly. Yes. Okay, not bad, not bad. Still 52 for each one. That's crazy. Close ranks. 
Okay, uh, well, we can't do a melee attack. So let's... Three. We've got to get through three of these guys. Gain ten temporary hit points and become blessed. It's a bonus action. Ooh, triple your jump distance. Interesting. I wonder how long it lasts. Okay, we've almost got him killed. So one turn for all of the characters to get one of these slimes to half-life. That means we've got six turns. We've got to survive six turns to kill all three of these things. I should have done this first, huh? Pavel says, sorry for being late. Story will unfold in Act 2, but you still have it. Um, Adamantine Forge, Mountain Pass, and maybe Arc Arcane Tower in Act 1. Focus. Yeah, it looks that way. On I go. Okay, we got Cloud of Daggers doing its thing. I thought I got it so that this guy was in there, but I guess not. mess he's only got five health left though had I not done that critical miss it would have killed him there he goes dead okay not so bad not so bad
Alright, four to nine. Attacking up to three enemies at once. Okay, that's gonna put me into the circle of daggers, which I don't want to do. Six to seventeen. Six to seventeen. Only five? Only three, dear God. They are weak to melee, it looks like. Got to move. But magic works on them, let's see. I really need to do a long sleep. Eleven! Wow, that did pretty good. Okay. I like that. Big acid puddle. And it got Gale. Critical miss, yay. I got lucky. All right. Well, that's four to nine. Evokes an attack of opportunity. Crap. Wow, that was surprisingly well. Rachel says you can't long rest or you will progress the quest. Oh dear. Okay, well thank you for that one. All right, that'll still provoke an attack of opportunity, so we'll end it there. I see that, Jonesus. Gale here. If he backs up, will he provoke an attack of opportunity? No, it doesn't look like it. And I'm out of acid. Great. Ice knife. Fire. Well, I think we could probably kill this guy easily. Three damage, really?
Eight, that's a little better. Talk to me. Saved, come on. Lame. Okay, it missed. Is anyone in acid? It doesn't look like it. Ooh. A long way to go still. We survived. It's well, been a long day. Only one person is injured soon. and not by much. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Let's see. He's got his mage armor. This only lasts two turns. That's one thing we didn't do in the last one. We didn't buff up. Replenish spell slots while out of combat. Should I do that now? Variant, two spell slot, three spell slot. That's a uh, level three spell slot. Must take a short rest. Okay, so I've got these level three spells that I can't cast right now. I suppose I could do that. Is that blood? No, never mind. It only lasts two turns, though. Bardic Inspiration. There we go. Well, I should have had that on them from the beginning. Damn, it's good to be alive. There's no time to waste. That's a level one spell slot. And I'm out. Crap. Okay, well, let's quick save. I think we're doing okay here. Let's inspect their inventory. Hmm, let's see. Uh, ochre slime jelly, a thrown projectile. I think. Is it a thrown projectile? Bone, copper band, short sword. I've got a long road ahead. Don't step in the poison. Ooh, heavy chest. Hold on. I think I've got some, uh, yeah, I'm slightly encumbered. Basavo Play says, check your potions. Sometimes you get potions that give you the effects of a long slash short rest. Yeah, I may need to do that. Cat5 says, Gale can learn new spells from scrolls. Thank you, Cat5. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, if I remember how to do it. Let's see. Wait. We've got the Caravan Strongbox still. Do we need that anymore? A Scimitar Mold. Infernal Alloy. Uh... And camp supplies.
Okay, do we have any other camp supplies sitting around in my inventory? Are we still encumbered is the big question. Okay, caravan strong box. Let's send that to camp. Don't need it. Toy chest. Let's send that to camp. Don't think I need it either. Okay. Ah, an excellent choice. Uh, how do I learn new spells from scrolls? Spell them. Learn more spells. Available four thousand. Pavel says, unless minimap is bound by red, you can use map to fast travel to any waypoint, even in a place with no way out. Cancel effect is left down from portrait. Okay, thank you so much, Pavel. Wall of Flame, this is uh, insufficient level. Vampiric Touch, Hidden Laughter, Sleet Storm, Shocking Grasp, Shatter. I like that. Um... Grant flight. It might be useful. Gaseous form. That would definitely be useful. How long does it last? Until long rest. That's a really long spell. Feather fall. Useful. False life. What's that? Gain seven temporary hit points. All right. Dark vision. Don't need that. Uh, chromatic orb. Ooh. All right, I could take that. Prevents the target from healing until your next turn. Uh, blindness. Wow, I've got a ton. Like, I could dump all of my gold into this. Lasts 10 turns invisibility. All right, I think that's good. Seven new spells learned. Great. I just spent a ton of money, but it's useful. One arcane recovery charge. Looks like I have three. I get I re, I, re, I get one per long rest. I see. Still alive. So that's progress. What path lies before me? If this is another mimic Yeah, I don't think there's anything over there.
someone climbed up from down below. Hmm. Climbed up there. Carlac, get out of the acid. My god. Don't that stand. That drow, near, is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though, not necessarily our concern, of course. Oh! Did that. Did I click on her or did she just take me aside? Well, okay, we'll leave for now. Okay, scroll of fire shield, scroll of shatter. Cutlery, don't need all of that. Wonder if the gods are watching me. This way. Still breathing, despite everything. A loth candle. Cool, whatever that is. All right, let's see, are we going in the right direction? Ah, uh, kind of. I mean, I, we really don't need to go there because we've got plenty of smokeless powder, but um, it is a quest and we'll get experience and maybe something else that'll help us get through this. Have to keep going. What? Barely. Okay, contemplation chamber. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. Okay, that's where we were. We had a big battle over here. And that's where Barty Horn got teleported below. So we don't need to go over there. Gale, why are you still down there? Can he not jump up? What's that over there? Have we been there? I think we have, yeah. Gale. Which way to the nearest library? And these things have stayed interesting. Rotten tomato. Chasm creeper. Ooh, I wonder what's out this way. Rotten mushroom. Everything in here is rotten.
Okay, so if we come out here, we've got a chasm creeper. We've got a little path overlooking that. Oh, oh, I see. This was an alternate path, so we didn't have to unlock the door. Gotcha. We could have jumped up there. Hand-drawn map. Latest. A map of Grim Forge, drawn by hand, yet highly detailed. Points of interest are marked with black X's aside from two, which are identified by bold red circles, one on each level of the fortress. The words hiding spot are written within the upper level circle. The lower level circle is identified as a smoke powder reserve. Journal updated, find explosives. Dear God. in hand. One more step and a blow is to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Careful. I'd rather not have to pick bits of gnome from my hair. Shut your mouth, Hoon, or I'll shut you down. J7 says, quick tip, if you want to read something before picking it up, right click on it. Love your streams. Thank Ox. Thanks, Ox. You're welcome, J7, and thank you. We could say, holy hells, have you gone mad? Or you wouldn't dare. You don't have the courage. Or let's call her by name. Philomene, I presume. What's going on here? Drug. Dropping my name like your culty stars knows me. Like we're friends. I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit eat than rot in Moonrise. You want me? Come get me. We can say, I don't care. Go on, blow us up. Or we have a variety of persuasion and intimidation track, uh, checks. Uh, let's see. Six. Six. No, that's nine. Nine, nine, six. Six. Okay, so essentially we have the exact same chance for every single persuasion check. Um, we could smile sincerely and hold out our hand. Which is weird. Let's just say Lorita sent me. The gnomes need help. Gotta pass a ten. Might as well throw in a guidance and a friend. Oh yeah, we got this. Lorida, ruddy mind games. I, I know all about your tricks, true soul. Shit, I can't do it. Go on, drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. Okay, well we passed the persuasion check and she was still gonna do it anyway. But she lost her nerve. We could say I'd rather have the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. Let's say, calm down. Beldrun's trapped in a cave-in, and I need the smoke powder. You want to waste rune powder on... Look, you have no idea what you're dealing with. 
Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. It's the whole damn reason we're here, and I'm not leaving without it. But let me go. Maybe I'll spare you a vial. Uh, we could pass a history check to say Iron Hand, Rune Powder. Where have you heard these terms before? I want to know. Give me the lore. We gotta pass a 20. I'm a bard. The closest thing this game has to a historian. I'm a bard. Come on. Just let me pass it, please. Uh. One away. One away. I'm gonna roll again. Even worse. Vague notions of rumor and myth. Nothing solid comes to mind. What use is a single vial? A barrel of this could light up the Underdark. A vial is plenty. Just let me go my way. Deal. Whoa, okay. Listen, you see Larida at the dig? Tell her I'm dead, impaled, half eaten. I don't care. Make up a story. She has a heart made of stone, this one, that only smoke powder can break. <clears throat> You'd abandon your beloved? That's mighty cruel of you. Beloved? I might have been hers. She sure as hell wasn't mine. I'm getting gone. You oh ought to do the same. Unrequited love. All right, item received. Rune powder vial. All right, and off she goes. Where she goes, no one knows. Oh, she just disappears. Okay, well, I think we did a good. We did a good, right? That was a good. Supply pack, yeah. What's in the supply pack? 40 camp supplies. Heck yeah. Send to camp. There's the rune powder vial. The rune pod powder inside explodes when ignited, damaging everything in the vicinity. Sharan's journal. I tried right-clicking on it, and it didn't work. Day one. Never saw a beast like this. Bloated with muscle. Tusks as long as my arms. Scent of charred flesh, but I saw no flames. The stone might have been parchment. So quick did the creature charge through it. The other Justicars are dead. Or close to it. It wasn't alone. Hell Knights, too. Masked or masks bolted to their faces like plaques to keep a wall. Day three, trapped, another rampage, and down the walls came. Started to dig, not sure. Day seven, it's done. May Shar's shadows keep me. Sis, but they still got to him. Tablet fragments. I have a feeling these are going to be important. Moral commandments and dogmatic prayers are inscribed in this stone slab. It appears to be the bottom of a larger piece. This appears to be the top of a larger piece. This is the center of a larger piece. Okay, so we've got tablet pieces. Presumably we need to put them somewhere. Well, Shadowheart is, uh, 
a Char. So we'll let her carry them. Okay. Well, we got tablet pieces, which are likely going to be coming in handy later. Let's see, what's this? These tables. Laura says, can you combine? Hmm. Uh, if I can, I don't know how. Um, oh, we can, we can actually read them. Okay, this is the center, this is the top. This fragment appears to be part of a larger stone slab. The top edge is cleanly hewn, but the bottom is jagged. So said Shar to me, Kethric Thorm. It was Lord Ow who created chaos. It was from chaos that I formed, and it is I who anoint you my paladin. From this day forth, let my laws be known. The law of secrets. What is a secret but truth cast into darkness? Lurk in the shadows and listen for sh hushed words. The softer a thought spoken, the more power it contains. The more discord it sows, the more scars it may carve. If a man brags of affairs, carry his words to his wife. If a daughter steals from her father, whisper the truth. If uh, the deceived turn to Shar, cuckolds find solace in shadow. Do this O, and the inscription ends here. This is the centerpiece. Do this once a ten day, and the Lady of Loss shall know you. The law of, uh, law of Nightfall. From the moon falls the foulest of lights. It peeks through cracks and fissures, illuminating the most remote recesses of the Underdark. Light bestows hope, a pernicious notion which must be extinguished. At the darkest hour, pray to your lady and feast in her honor. The second day after, slay a disciple of Saloon. If none may be found, a Lathadirian or Mistrin are an acceptable offering. Do this once a ten day, and the Lady of Loss shall know you. The Law of Obeyance. The word of Kethric Thorm is the word of Shar. You shall put no god nor mortal before him. You shall question question him in neither word nor deed. When the sun has fallen and the moon is new, Bow your head in prayer. Proclaim your devotion to Shar and her paladin, Kethric Thorn. Promise your soul and flesh, and seek no fortune nor favor. When your prayer is finished, speak thus. Mistress of Shar, I have glorified your name. Master Thorm, I have cried out your word. I am your servant forevermore. So said Shar to me, Kethric Thorm. So it is decreed, and so it is done. Wield the power of secret. Where light shines, extinguish it. Heed the word of your mistress and master. Do this, and the Lady of Lost shall know you. Don't think I like this Char goddess very much. Uh, right, well, we'll have to keep an eye out for some place to put these tablets. Likely on a broken part of a wall, I'm presuming. Only then. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Well, moving in. Well, we did it. We found her, and we got the blasting powder, or whatever it is. We could fast travel down here to the Underdark. That's going to save us some time. Harper's Stash. We still don't know what that is. I'm curious about it. I kind of want to go get it. This is where the cave-in was, which leads to the Grim Forge, I believe. 
But Chad said I need to resolve the situation down here with Nier first. Because that's where we're going to... Oh, and also we have to help the spirit of the amulet? God. All right, so this is going to take us to the Moonrise Towers. Smoke Powder Reserve. Oh, this is the Smoke Powder Reserve we read about in that article that we just picked up over here. So I don't want to fast travel back. Let's see if we can find this just so we can get more Smoke Powder, I guess. Audex says Harper's Stash was the mimics you found just before finding the quest. Well, then why does it still have a question mark? Why is it still marked on my map? You gotta dig it up, says Big Wee. Oh, all right. Laura says, probably should save Nier before Harper's stash or he'll just die. It's kind of timed. Really? Really? I thought I had unlimited time as long as I didn't do a long sleep. Oh dear, okay. Um, well, let's do a hard save here, just in case. New save. Mr. Jocked says, did you collect Harper's stash after uh, fighting the Mimics? I didn't because I didn't know about it at the time. So I guess I need to go back. If you see a place where I can put these plaques, let me know. be added to inventory. Well, I don't want to like, add it to inventory. What? What's with this loose stone? Click and drag with a strong character. Oh. Come on, let's go. Hide armor, torch, potion of greater healing, money, fire amber, and a viridian crystal. Oh, interesting. Cool. So I didn't need to add it to inventory. I just needed to move it. Cool. Thank you, chat. Right, what now? If not over, then through. Oh, there's a room back here. Hmm. We've been back there. Since that rock slide. Ain't been the same. 
I say you're scamming the lot of us. Maybe I should talk to these guys. Let's talk to them. Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> J7 says, with how many Game of the Year awards Baldur's Gate 3 is winning, how would you like a Fallout game made by Lyrian? Turn-based combat with real-time exploration, hearkening back to the OG games. Also, right-click doesn't always work while holding alt. Oh, I didn't realize that. Thank you, J7. Um... I don't think I'd like it. I, I'm really enjoying Baldur's Gate uh, for a variety of reasons, but the turn-based aspect of it isn't the reason I'm enjoying it. Uh, I enjoy the graphics, the characters, the expressions, the comedy, um, but the turn-based combat, I can take it or leave it. It's not my favorite. It's okay, but I certainly wouldn't want Fallout to go back in that direction. I enjoy the first-person uh, sort of VATS-based combat that we currently have. Uh, Grim Work, did you kill them? Or I hope you're checking for loot first. Let's ask if they killed them. Nah, Rockfall smashed them. Can't have them stinking up the place. <laughs> the half that weren't crushed are digging the true soul out of the wreckage. I hope you're checking them for loot first. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. We can try to pass a perception check to inspect the corpses, but oddly enough, we only get a plus three for this particular perception check. We gotta roll a 10. One! One! Come on! Done gawking. Lend a hand or get gone. Lame! I know there's something on these bodies! <laughs> Oh, and that's it. I lost my opportunity. Critical failure. My butt. I'm gonna load my save here. They let anyone in around here. Anyone. I'm gonna try once more to pass that. It's like I'm. My dice are cursed. All right. It's okay because my dice are cursed. This is just my way of getting around my cursed dice. All right, let's see if we can actually pass this sucker. With haste. Oh, I got to do the rock again. Crap. Hey, good looking. Right, quick save. 
Gustavo Plays says, if you don't save scum, you're not playing Baldur's Gate 3, it's playing you. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I see it. Let's show here to kick some st <laughs> Nah. <laughs> the half that weren't crushed, I'll dig it. <laughs> Rocks. Perception. Hey, at least I passed. You spot a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. We could pass a sleight of hand check to reach for the trinket. We've got uh, plus two, plus one, then a plus one D4. We could pass a perception check to say, I'll finish up here. You're wanted with the others. Do I really want to get more dwarves in one big space? Probably not. Let's try sleight of hand. A 20! Oh, come on, man. A 20? Ah. Oh. Hey, what are you? Oh, I get it. Something caught your eye, eh? That's grand. I'd be willing to let you take it, too, for a mere pittance. Okay, fine, let's trade. And what is it? A fetish of Caladuran smooth hands. It's a ring that grants invisibility. All right. 112? Sure. Why not? Okay. Tidy. Hope you enjoy a bit of tat, you don't. A tat? What? <laughs> Well, these guys are jerks. <laughs> they let anyone in around here. Anyone. All right, now uh, my map is saying that there's something over here. How do I get there? Oh. Did I not loot the smoke powder? I did. This is the smoke powder I already got. Well, then why is it still... Why is it still marked on my map? Okay, well, we're back here. Uh, let's see. There is this Harper's stash, which we didn't get. Uh, let's see if we can go back and get that. If I remember how to get there. down here somewhere. Looks like the place the dark justicious letter mentioned. 
Where's the stash? Where is the stash? There it is. We already got it. We already got Harper's stash. Oops. All right. Well, never mind. Okay. Well, that leaves one thing left to do. Well, I mean, a couple things left to do. But the one we need to focus on now is killing Nier. Clearing, clearing the cave-in and freeing the gnomes. How are we going to do this? Because once we attack, we summon every single dwarf. All of the dwarves help out. All right, Cat5 told me to check with, uh, to talk with some of the dwarves at the beginning there. Ooh. Mm. Uh, they'll miss it. I'll loot it later when the dwarves are dead. Shh. I can't focus with you breathing so close. Skeletons where the others found. Stone Guard Cur, uh, Cur. did we kill this guy? Another plaque. Why is that red? Saluna did call forth the moon and the stars. Shah cloaked them in shadow to cover our scars. Wade Speakerman gifted uh, five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Wade. And congratulations to Sebastian Sanchez, Knox Black, Base God Purge, Joe Justin, Peter Faced. Elder Brithvar. Ring mail armor. Wooden shield. I don't remember killing these guys. Ooh. Hello, we haven't been over here yet, have we? In the beginning came morning, then night. Two sisters clashed, one dark and one light. I've got my eye on you. Enough going wrong without outsider meddling. Ugh. Off with you now. God. One, two, three, four. Five dwarves there. Then there was one up there, too. Up the ladder. Not to mention this guy who's wandering around. If she wanders into the fight, that's just going to make things more complicated. What if I take her out when she walks by? Will that aggro all of these guys? I mean, I should clearly I should I should kill all the dwarves before we rescue Nair because that's going to make the fight a lot easier.
I could push her into there. All right, let's just try it. Hold on. Lovely day this, for now. Making me sweat. Soldier? Quite ready for you. Forthwith. My faith will guide me. Didn't you hear? Well, it ends not as bad as it could have. These boots have seen everything. Well, let's try it. Here's uh, nothing for it. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 my bad. What a charmer. <laughs> you attacked someone. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate. Well, crap. I couldn't push her off. Fine. Oh my god. Oh, lava. Maybe I should have put him in the lava. It's just an awful lot of them. Just so many. Yeah, and then there's that guy up there. Well, this isn't going according to plan.
not in here. No, mind mastery. Oh, what? Oh, no, I'm I'm attacking my own friends. So I just wasted my turn. <laughs> Miss. Invisibility. If I could get them lined up, that would be perfect. Cheese. This guy just vanished. He's over here somewhere. He's gonna pop out in the next turn. This guy's really tiny. Hello, what's... Why can I target that? Whoa. Why can I target that? Could I cause that to topple over? If I was up here, could I, like, push it over? Is that what this is for? To push it over and block the path so no one else can get in? Huh. I could target it. 
I wonder what that's for. Then again, I can target all of these. Zero damage. <laughs> okay. Got no potions. Eat this. Oh, come on. Really? No heals left. That's it? Greater healing my butt. Five percent. Oh, finally, critical hit, but still only six.
Interesting. Why is target blocked? There we go. Okay, so I got him in fire. <laughs> Uh, what now? What now? Uh, attack this little guy? 45, high defense. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Gone with the weave. I'm gonna hide. Can I hide over here? No. Ooh, and Shadow Heart's down. Okay, Shadow Heart's down, Gale is down. She's about to be down. 32, 18. That heal him? Uh. I can only use it on myself, I guess. Let's see, what other tricks do I have? Misty Step, Vampiric Touch. Heroism. Uh. You have to throw the potion at them, says chat. Oh. Okay, uh, I can't throw.
Yeah, uh, I don't think I can do that right now. Nineteen, I don't want to put out the fire. Roaring thunder? on my feet. Destroyer. Wow, he's got nothing. That almost killed him, though. Killed him. Okay, Gale is dead, my cleric is dead, but I've killed a bunch of people here. I could go get Gale up again. But I can't heal him. I can't throw this to him. <sighs> and as we already learned, I can't bounce him off. That would have been nice if I could push him. Maybe? Best be on my way. Athletic successful, but I couldn't push him into there. Mr. Real. Okay, uh, how do I heal myself?
Can I move something? Okay, uh, she's alive. Forty-four, nine. throw, pick up an item or creature and throw it at a target. <laughs> okay, knocking it prone. Frenzied strike. There we go. The hammer's gonna fall. <laughs> Dead! Pavel says, throw us an action. One per turn, green circle above bar. Thank you, Pavel. Ready. Okay, she's alive. Let's move her out of the way so until she can recoup. Heading there. Wade Speakerman says, Ox Chat is saying Gale can take potions from other characters' inventory, and you have to throw potions before any other action. I see. Um... Well, I managed to do it by just pressing tab, opening up all my characters' inventories, and moving items between characters, and then consuming the potions. That seemed to work. Uh, but, yeah, I I'm not sure what the downfall of that was, but thank you. Okay, party horn. All my characters are barely alive. I don't have any heals left. And I gotta kill this dude. Twenty two health left. Seventy five per cent. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. <laughs> Got him. Okay, we're whittling away. Good God, this has been one tough battle with very little preparation, but we might actually do this. <laughs> We've got how many guys left? Two? Is that, no, one. We've got one guy left? Yeah, draw. Work. 
Uh, let's try and get closer in preparation for our next fight. Swift as my feet can carry me. Death is but a word away. Aha! He's back! But he's way away from the combat here. Can we get within spell range of this dude? Yeah. On the double. Miss. Seventy percent chance, and I missed. Oh, nice. Well, it was eleven. There we go. Boom! She whiz. I don't know how we did that. Let's heal on up. Who has a heal? I am ready. Right, I'm gonna do a hard save here. I could take potions, but... Oh, dear God. Let's see. Martha Ramage. A whipping cane. Two to five damage. Not worth it. Let's get going. Simple toxin. Absolute's Tempest. If the wearer bears the Absolute's brand, they deal one additional thunder damage. Well, I don't. Uh, click heals, boots of speed. a lot of weapons I could try to sell. I don't want to have to carry them, though. Cap of Wrath. Last stand during combat. When the rarer starts their turn with 50% hit points or less, they gain Wrath for two turns. Alright, useful. Drow poison. Zero to nine damage. Uh, 
And that guy was already dead. Deed of Ownership, a formal declaration of territory ownership by the Iron Hand Gnome. Let it be known from the far drim to the firelands, from Morn Diver to the spawning deep, the Iron Hand, Iron Hand Gnomes with the blessing of the Shield of the Golden Hills, declare possession of the tunnels, open spaces, peoples, and contents of the Underdark Territory beneath the Western Heartlands. Ignore this deed under penalty of imprisonment or death. Approved and signed, Wubren Bongo. Okay, well I'm tempted to do a short rest, but I worry about advancing the plot and having people die. Defaced statue of Shar. Right, I can't move it. I'm not sure what to do with it. Hmm. Hey. Unfinished sending. A component of a magical sending hastily scrawled and incomplete. Seal the lower temple. Gym forge taken by unknown force. Many soldiers, one face infernal. Their leader, the note cuts off abruptly. Abruptly, ink slashed through with blood. Slaver's instructions. <clears throat> the book's first page proclaims in bold text, Property Sergeant Thryn hands off. Name, location, status. Veldron, trapped, huh? Larida, dig healthy. Lunkbug, dig healthy. Myrna, trapped, huh? Philomene, huh? Missing. Skick Pit, see Magmar, huh? Dula, huh? Missing. Wellzo, dig healthy. Wiki, trapped, huh? The final scribble is impossible to make out.
you mean I can't reach it? It's right there. What's next, I wonder? Can't reach it. Okay, now I can get the potion. I should take that. Onward in her name. Pavel says short rests are save only, long ones advance the story. In that case, I will risk a short rest. Let's quick save. And short rest. I can keep going a little longer now. Beldron's still trapped. Find Philomene and get that smoke powder. I found Philomene, and she wants Larita to move on. Or we could say bad news. I'm afraid Philomene is gone. Let's try number two. Move on. I gave her. Everything. And she has the gall to send you to break me. Get us out of here, all of us. And hope for her sake, her path never crosses <laughs> mine again. DL Stone says, hey, Ox, glad to see live. Love the stream and game. Been really enjoying your Starfield content. You've already become a Fallout legend. I know you'll become a Starfield legend in no time. Well, you're extremely kind. DL Stone, thank you. Okay, well, we've got smoke powder. Should we talk to Wellzo first? Get murder out of there. I'll do anything. Okay, they're all saying the same thing. Let's put it down. As you near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison. Stay still. I'll do what I can. Quit quick, or head. Careful, Mercs. On the edge. Get me out. Through Nier's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. Well, let's try to pass the perception check to try to focus. I believe we achieved it last time. resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris, while two others lie dead at Nia's feet, their flesh scorched by powerful magic. You sense Nia's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. Okay, let's place it. Choking! Crap. Dig out of here! He sends Nears for us. Okay, uh, I need to manually put the smoke powder then. There it is. Come on, stop it. Choke! He sends me.
There he is. He's all right. Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. <laughs> Does not fail. Oh, dear God. Is there any way I can prevent that one from being killed? We could say finish the slave's true soul for the absolute. We could say nothing or stop. No more innocents will die. This got us in trouble last time, but we've killed all the dwarves, so let's try it. <laughs> so you care for the weak true soul. Was it your hand that slayed Nir's servants? Or is there a sane explanation? Uh, let's see. <laughs> We could say, I killed your friends and you're next. The Myconid Sovereign wants your head. That's what caused him to be hostile last time. Uh, the slavers turned on each other. Mutineers versus absolute loyalists. Um, let's try to pass a deception check this time. It's only a 10. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> We got it, with two dice. <sighs> Tensions were high. I am hardly surprised. The novices were lost without me to guide them. As for these vermin, they've outlived their usefulness. You've a chance yet to prove your faith. Kill the slaves. Let Nair see them suffer. Wow, screw you, dude. We could attack the Deep Gnomes. We could say you're the only one suffering today. Or we could pass a wisdom check to plant a thought in Nier's mind. The Gnomes must be set free. Fifteen. Ah! Two! I rolled a two! Well... <laughs> I don't know what you are, that you can defy the Absolute's will. But you are a traitor. And I will have your head. Well, okay, at least we had a short rest. <laughs> we gotta fight this dude. 78 health. Is he a monstrosity? No. Well, that wasn't very good. knocked prone. Nice. He slipped on the ice. Love it. All right, my friend.
miss. Brilliant. Step to it. Uh, I don't want to get him off the ice. Let's cut the fire, baby. Critical miss. I did the elixir of the heavens thing to improve my chance, and I did a critical miss. Got it. Act fast. Where's her axe thing? Didn't I have like a uh, a weapon that I could summon on her? Well, okay. Barty Horn. Time for some bloody work. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's back up a little bit. Breathe deep and move. Heretic! You should never have come here. Strike me and suffer. Scroll of Burning Hands, 3 to, eight, 3 to 18 damage. He's got a, a shield or something on him. 2 to 20 damage. Resistances, Psychic Resistance. Sixty. Sixty. Move away from the lava, says Chad. Oh, right, yeah. All right, Karlak, it's go time. Nice. And he's bleeding. All right. Can't give up. Not now. Fifty five. Forty five. Fifty-five.
zero percent. <laughs> All right. You should take a look. Wow, I got two critical hits. Holy cow, Barty Horn. Yeah. The decaying corpse lies before you. Strength, remove its head. Oh, come on. I should be having Karlak do this. He just looks at his sword. What do I do with this? Hmm? I sincerely hope you never find employment as an executioner. <laughs> you finish resting the head from the drow's twisted neck. I did it. Okay. Okay. Did they suffer? It was over in a flash. Then sword of Screams. Resigned. Could have been you. Can't bear to think about it. You don't need to. We're together. That's what matters. Can't be enwebbed, entangled, or ensnared, and can't slip on grease or ice. Spider's Liar. Play the spider's liar. I've already got a spider's liar. Broken moon lantern. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Wonder if that's one of those moon lanterns. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Broken. So much for protection from the shadow curse. Okay, we could do an investigation, which is plus two. We can do Arcana, which is also plus two. Let's first examine the dust within the lantern. Gotta get a 10. Come on, I can do this, come on. Two again! Oh! My dice are really cursed! What the heck? To all appearances, the dust seems quite ordinary. Wow, that's two, two rolls in a row. Let's try investigation. Finally, now! Nothing about the lantern strikes you as unusual. Well, that was just a complete waste. Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen. Consuming Parasites. Uh, you can now consume Mind Flayer Parasites from your inventory to unlock new illithid powers. Look out for sources of parasites in the world. All right, didn't we do that? All right, let's consume this parasite. Oh, right. Okay, we've got one. We need to evolve. Force tunnel. Charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path four meters away from you. Psionic overload. Your attacks deal an additional one to four psionic damage, but you take psionic damage every turn. Transfuse health. Sacrifice half of your remaining hit points to heal a target for the same amount. I mean, jeez. Not all my favorite options here.
Shield of Thralls, conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally granting the target 10, 10 temporary hit points. Repulsor. All right, can I even access these right now? I can't. All right, so I gotta unlock this one to unlock these. Stage Fright. Um, this is pretty cool. I like that. These are locked to me. Now, Ability Drain is nice. So is Stage Fright. But to get those, I need to unlock this first. I don't want to take psychic damage every turn. I don't, I don't like that at all. All right, we're going to go this one, Force Tunnel. Lovely. Right. Quick save. Very well. It was over in a flash. A ball. Poison Cloud, what do we do? There's a double oak door there. We need to get past it, because we got to get down here to help the spirit of the amulet. Thunder wave, but I can't use it. Seek and you shall find me. He doesn't have thunder wave available either. My face protects me. You don't need to. We're together. That's what matters. Charmed, I'm sure. A lot of my mind. Um, well, in it. Let's see. Uh, sort by type. Scroll of aid. Animal friendship. Scroll of blindness. Scroll of blur. Bone chill. Minor elemental. Dark vision. False life. Fire shield. Grease. Cold person, mirror image, misty step, enfeeblement, sickness, shatter, uh, sleep, sleet storm, speak with dead, La thunder wave, thunder wave. Nothing. Alt Grendel says I missed Pavel's super chat. Sorry about that. 
Pavel says there's an attack button on the left down corner in the scene window. If you press it, it breaks the scene and starts combat. That would stop Nair from killing her. Oh, I had no idea. Okay, thank you. Well, Thunder Wave didn't do anything. I can't think of what I could use to get rid of this acid. This cloud of acid poison or whatever. Uh, Thunder Wave didn't do anything. I don't have any wind spells. Fire, says the chat. Would fire ignite a poison cloud? One day I'll catch a break. Lunk. Better now. Nope. What if we just try to run through it really quickly? I did do a quick save. updated the Chosen of Shar. Isn't that a companion quest? Yeah. Reach the ancient temple. The bridge to the ancient temple has been destroyed. There must be another way in. We learned that Grimforge leads to an ancient temple. Perhaps the truth of what happened to the Dark Justicars can be discovered there. This is a companion quest, so we kind of got to do it, right? Damon must have left with the other refugees. Meet Damon on the road ahead, or Damon. Okay, so the bridge is out. There must be another way. Uh, yeah, I can't jump that. <laughs> I don't think I have a character who could. Boy, that's a big leap. All right, well, at least I know what's there. Let's get through here without dying. Come on, Barty Horn, don't die. Okay. I wouldn't have it any other. Beldron! I was so worried. Didn't it hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gaedel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? Ah. <clears throat> uh... Let's say thank Thula. She's the one who sent me on your trail. Glittering gods. I should have known that one was too damn stubborn to die. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, 
That falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Wolbrin. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Wolbrin. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? <clears throat> um... We could try to pass a persuasion check to say, this is no time to be coy. What is that wool... Uh, what is it that Wolbrin knows? Bit overkill there. You'll call me mad, but fine. Wolbrin's found the formula for rune powder. What? I. The explosive of Gerdil Ironhand's own creation. Fistfuls, wiping out armies. All those old stories. Only Wolbrin couldn't leave the stories be, so he went and bloody found it. A small supply tucked away down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. Ooh, a bit of a cut there. Um, then we'll just have to free him first. Oh God, <laughs> they just won't let me go to act two. How long do you think he'll hold out? Um, let's try that. Not long enough. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. That business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Wolbrin behind. I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Wolbrin might have kept you around. Damn. Run away then, I have my own business to be about. If my path takes me to Moonrise, I'll see about freeing Wolbrin myself. You're just abandoning your leader? That's cold. Enough, bickering won't save your friend. Let's say we'll take care of it ourselves. He'd admire your resolve and your optimism. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Wolbrun together. Okay, quest complete. Save the Grim Forge No. Peldron, are you all right? Lunkbug. Better now than I'm with you. God, freedom. I'd forgotten how it felt. Thank you. Well, you did it. Don't sound so surprised. Nothing good happens in the Underdark. As you know, some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Wolbrin among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. They're not even going after him. I wish I were surprised. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. We could say farewell, Barkus. I wish you luck on your search. Uh, we could pass a Baldurian check to say Iron Hand Gnomes. I recognize that name. They fight the gnomish recognition in the city, right? Their fight has little to do with freedom and everything to do with power. I told Walbrin not to go near them. But did he listen? He did not. Well, we could say uh, first things first. You look exhausted. You should rest at my camp. Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. Yeah, but he needs you alive and not dead. <clears throat> we could 
We could say, I suspect I'll be rescuing you a third time then. <laughs> uh, we could say, this is no place to travel alone. Ha. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Uh... Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Fine. <laughs> Show me where to go, and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. Yes. And, um, thank you. You're welcome. All right. And then there's this guy, Welso. My sister! Dead by Nia's hand! Mana! Oh. I'm so sorry! If only we could have done something! Oh, poor Welso. All right, yay. Three hours in, I'm exhausted, but yay, we did it. Well, I don't know how to get down there. We don't have a path that takes us down there. This is the door we opened. There is this bridge, but it's above us. I wouldn't have it any other way. Reach Moonrise Towers. We already did Smoke Powder Reserve. We already got the Harper Stash. Uh, return to the Myconid Sovereign. I guess that's what we do. Chad is now saying that I can finally long rest. God. Oh, that's a good idea. Shh. Put it out of your mind. I'm here. Hope you're keeping well, friend. <laughs> well, hello. What can I do for you? new dialogue there. Speak. No new dialogue here. What's on your mind? Nothing new there. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking, and I've been doing just that. It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this a preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. Ah. I'm not sure I should trust Wilbrin's fate to, well, me. Your friend can likely take care of himself. There's something else I want to discuss, or I'm destined for Moonrise Towers. I could look for him. Hmm, you've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again, but I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. Um, I will. That's <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? Um, we could pass a bard check to say I've heard some rather explosive gnomish myths about it. That myth 
has come to life. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. What do they want to do with it? Destruction. The only thing it's good for. But destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wolbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lot get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. <clears throat> Lots of options. What can you tell me about Moonrise Towers? I haven't been there myself. The area around it is, well, cursed. Terrifyingly so. I did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades that fear not steel, but light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. I'll find your friend, and together we'll stop the Iron Hand gnomes. For we can't count on Wolbrun surviving the towers, we should go after the gnomes en route to Baldur's Gate. Let's try number one. I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there's something else I'd like to discuss. Like what? Your smoke powder bombs. Are you an alchemist? Alchemist? Tinkerer? Adventurer? Curmudgeon? <laughs> I wear many hats. Most with great enthusiasm. Thank you for noticing. Tell me a little more about yourself. Barkus Root is my name. Baldur's Gate is my home. Back in the city, I offered my expertise to the highest bidder. I was quite popular, too. I'm not picky about my customers. What will you do if Wolbrin is dead? I suppose I... I suppose I'd be very, very sad. Then, after a while... I'd find whoever killed him and put a smoke powder bomb in their trousers. Okay, that's about it for him. Any news, Will? Well met. Nothing new. Magic mirror? When did we get a magic mirror? Oh, we can change our character. All right, well, I don't want to do that. Got a bit of a glitch there on the uh, pillow. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Uh, let's see if there's any more uh, romancing dialogue. You and I, we share something special. I think I want to talk about it. Very serious of you, but go ahead. Um, how are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Okay, uh, I feel like we've gotten to this dialogue already. I want to talk about what's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? You're doing just fine. After all... I'd scarcely anticipated being courted while fighting for survival in the wilderness. That's it. Nothing new, really. How about you, Hal Halzen? You wish to speak? Um, I found the stronghold in the Underdark you mentioned. A place called Grimforge. Impressive. Most would quake at the mere thought of delving that far into the Underdark. What did you find? 
Uh, let's see. Absolute followers. Danger. I've got more exploring to do. Tread carefully. You're on the right track, I'm sure. But there'll still be danger and difficulty before you reach Moonrise. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely. But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. You're still faring well at camp, I hope? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. Goodness. <laughs> this is a bit forward. All right. Well, that's it. Pavel says respect Shadowheart to War or Tempest Cleric, maybe? Uh, yeah, okay. How do I do that? Can't afford to stay idle. Talk to Withers with her. Oh. Okay. Well, what did I spec her into? On I go. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Uh, change my class. As thou desire. Okay, so we're a cleric. Uh, can traps, resistance, guidance, sacred flame, light. Blade Ward, Produce Flame, which is just Light or Thaumatagory. Trickery Domain. This is what she thought. Tempest. War or Tempest is what he suggests. Currently, I'm in Trickery, a domain shared by wicked, chaotic, or mischievous deities alike. Those who channel Trickery specialize in deception and illusion. Well, I certainly haven't been making very good use of that. War is fortified by holy zeal. You brandish an arsenal of sacramental savagery to use against those you deem unrighteous. A shield of faith and divine favor, one to four radiant damage. Subclass feature, War Priest. When you make an unarmed or weapon attack, you can spend a War Priest charge to make an additional attack as a bonus action. Tempest, let's see, what's this? Um, made you the very thunder that quakes the black firmament. We've got thunder wave and fog cloud with a subclass feature of wrath of the storm. Deals a reaction strike back at an attacking tree creature. Deals two to 16 lightning damage or two to th 16 thunder damage. The target takes half damage on a successful saving throw. All right, she has proficiency in all types of armor, including heavy armor. Nature uh, gives me a new cantrap. Sh uh, Shalega. Staff becomes magical. Speak to animals. Animal friendship. Eh. Knowledge. Hmm, command and sleep. Light. Burning hands or fairy fire with warding flare and life. Maybe I should put her into life. Odd X says life is also good if you want her to be a healer. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe life. I already know this spell. I also already know this spell. Okay, well maybe I don't want to do that if I already know these spells. The spell is a better version of a one you already know. You will only have access to this one.
Disciple of Life, your devotion empowers your healing spells. When casting a healing spell, the target regains additional hit points equal to 2 plus the spell's level. Cat5 says this will reset your character to level 1? What? Really? I don't want to restart to level 1. Oh, then you can re-add the, the spells. Pavel says only War Tempest and Light can use heavy armor. Oh. It just goes by level by level. You still have all the XP, says Odd X. You just have to level her. I see. Okay. You know what? I think I want to do life. Because I really need one character who's devoted to healing. My bard has decent healing, but he's just a mix of things. So let's choose life. Confirm. Level 1 spell slot unlocked, channel divinity charges 1, turn undead, and preserve life. Evoke a healing energy that restores your allies. Great. Prepare spells. These are my prepared spells. Guiding Bolt, Healing Word, Inflict Wounds, Create or Destroy Water. Or Sanctuary, your ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. You can still take damage from area spells. Bane, up to three creatures receive a 1d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Command a creature to flee. Guiding Bolt, Healing Word, Inflict Words, Wounds, or Water. Uh, this is, these are weird spells. <laughs> Let's take that one off. Let's add Shield of Faith. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, level two. These are the level one spells we chose. We can choose one level two spell. Protection from poison, warding bond, ward an ally. They gain resistance to all damage and a plus one bonus to their armor class and saving throws. Each time the ally takes damage, you take the same amount of damage. Oh dear God, I don't like that. Calm emotions, humanoids can't be charmed or frightened. Hold person, prayer of healing, heals all allies you can see. Spiritual weapon, Silence, blinders, or enhance ability. Let's do prayer of healing. Oh, I see. All right, I think that's good. Gained a cantrap. 
Gain advantage on intimidation and performance checks. Uh, get a light blade ward. Produce flame. Hmm. Intimidation and performance. Let's try blade ward. Okay, no new spells, but we can choose a feat. Oh, yeah. Uh, God, what did I choose last time? <laughs> Weapon master, tough. Resilient. Lucky. You gain three luck points, which you can use to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <clears throat> Chat says heavy armor is very good. <clears throat> A stat bump is good. Up her wisdom and condition. Pavel says up her wisdom. Sickness uh, Nith says greetings from Finland, Ox. It's always a pleasure to watch your videos after a hard day's work. Say hi to my little three-year-old son, Oni. He's one of your youngest fans. Well, thank you, Sickness. And hi there to Oni, three years old. Good to have you both on the program today. Wisdom, huh? Uh, what's wisdom? I guess ability improvement. And then wisdom. Try that. Level three spells. Glyph of warding. Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. Hmm. Protection from energy. Remove curse. Spirit guardians. Call forth spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take 3 to 24 radiant damage or 3 to 24 necrotic damage per turn and their movement speed is half. Wow, that sounds like a great one. Um, and yet we've got this healing ability, Mass Healing Word. Heal up to 6 allies. Animate the dead. <laughs> uh, feign death. Bestow curse. Hmm. I really like that. But I also want this healing ability. I don't like this. I don't know why they selected it again. Speak with the dead. I've already got a character who can speak with the dead. So I don't need that, do I? We can animate the dead. Or, let's see. Glyph of Warding, that looks really interesting. It's basically like setting a mine. Pavel says Wisdom is Cleric's spell ability, so each two points give her a plus 5% to hit with spells. Same with Intelligence with Wizards, and Charisma with Bards and Warlocks. 
Okay, that's that makes perfect sense. Thank you, Pavel. Try that. All right. Is that blood? No, never mind. I believe we've talked to everybody. Talk to press ahead. Let's go nap. Multi-classing, uh, this advanced feature allows you to build powerful combinations of classes at the expense of higher level class features. You can only level up one class at a time. All right, I guess I don't know what that meant, but all right. We are ready to go. Let's leave. We got a bunch of loot, I believe, in the last... ...battle. Did we get anything interesting? Spider's Lyre, which I believe we already have. Do we need to equip it? Yeah, we've already got a Spider's Lyre. I suppose we could sell it. Disinteresting Nightwalkers. Misty Step, level two conjuration spell. But well, we currently have these. Uh, we can dash. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain wrath for two turns. That would probably actually be good for her, Karlak. So let's put these on him. Let's give these to Karlak. Sword of Screams. Piercing and Psychic Damage. Well, if I do that, I miss out on my offhand weapon. For will, says Cat5. All right. Cap of Wrath. Uh, that looks like a Carlac item. Ring of Absolute Force. But that's only if I bear the absolute brand, which I don't. Level two illusion spell. Uh, invisibility? All right. All right, she's currently got just a regular helmet, constitution saving throws. So yeah, we'll give that to her. Doesn't change her AC at all. She doesn't have any boots equipped, so we'll give her those. Line breaker boots. Deep Delver, a scythe. It's worse than what I've currently got. Transient Warhammer. Nature plus one. 
All right, I think uh, I that's it. The next move is. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, uh... I don't know how to get up there. So... We need to go turn in the head. Let's go do that. Don't waste a step. Odd X says that the plus one armor in Carlax inventory is probably better than the one Shadowheart has Don't on. The chainmail? Hmm. She currently has scale mail. Uh, yeah, superior materials on both. And it's a better armor class. You're right. Thank you, chat. Let's get going. The boat beckons you aboard. Jed Knight says, before you leave the Underdark, you need to go back to the abandoned village. There's a path that leads back to another location. The abandoned village? You mean the decrepit village? That's where I'm at right now. The abandoned village? Decrepit village, Oxhorn. There's something at the decrepit village. A path? Okay. Peace bringer. Be at home. I've brought you Nier's head. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Thanks, boss. We'll be looking a lot worse if not for All right, reward. Bye. Same as us, I expect. Uh, Envoy's Amulet. A rare amulet. Voice of the Circle. Class action. Okay, if I swap this out, I miss out on my speak with the dead, but what does voice of the circle mean? 
Wherever the bearer goes, so does the mic in its circle. All right. Wits and blades always sharp. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. She already has those spells, right? Can't give up now. What's next? So let's give that to her. Cat5 says you're also missing the third part to a great weapon for Gale. It's on the right south side of the map. Maybe we can still go back for the others. No, Lunk Bug. Our work is bigger than any one of us. Time to rest. Even more. No need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. The Iron Hand gnomes are good friends to have. Okay. Your leader is still locked in, up in Moonrise Towers. I, I heard about Walbrun. But the cause is bigger than any one of us. You've made sure his work is done, even if he's not there to see it. He'd be grateful. All right. They're back, yay. You saved my skin, but there's more bastards out there. For everyone you kill, Paint on me. <laughs> Good man. Thanks again for offing that drow. Only made it here because of you. But I can't stop thinking about the rest of us. Stuck in Moonrise with a bunch of sadists. Poor bastards. I don't know half of what they're saying. Iron Hand keep us safe. The Mykonids are trying to help, but I keep seeing my friends in Moonrise screaming. Well, we'll try to help them out there. We have this lantern. I wonder if these guys can help us with that. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I guess not. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. 1400, let's see, what can we get rid of here? Probably don't need the pickaxe. Got all of these rings that don't have any stats. Uh, but two rings that do have stats. Personal space after shoving an enemy, the wearer gains a plus one to their armor class until the next turn. And then Thunder Wave. Uh, well, uh, that's better than what I've currently got equipped. Cat5 says book two, Ox? I don't know what you mean. Don't need that loot. I've already got a bunch of other loots and stuff. Uh, I already have the Spider's Liar. Can I sell my other one? I should save that in case I need it for another companion. Where's my other Spider's Liar? Did I send it back to camp? Adamantine slag. Okay, I think that's everything I want to get rid of on him. 
Cat5 says you can sell books. They have no use once you read them. Oh. Um. Okay. I mean, but it's lore, though. I hate... I should, re I should really so store the lore back at camp in case I want to save it for later. I'd love to, thanks. I don't need the bike horn. I might need bronze later, who knows? I've got all of these camp supplies. I should send those back to camp. Why does she have alchemy pouches? What am I to do? Devil foil mask? What's that? When did I get that? Iron and bronze ingots are useless. Well, They're a non-implemented well, well. feature. All right. I thought there was going to be crafting or something, but I guess not. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. Okay, he's got a couple of rings that I want to use. This should go to Carlac. Where's the other ring? This magic ring is legendary. I wonder why. He's not wearing any boots, but that's because if I put any boots on him... He needs light boots, right? Leather gloves. Robe. Can I put just... Boots of speed on him? He can't cast magic if I do, though. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Oh, I still have to go to the arcane tower. Lore Revolution says he can wear the boots of speed, just not the medium or heavy armor. Really? All right. Okay, so there's this part down here that I haven't fully explored. Uh, chat says I need to go back here to find another... I gotta go to the Arcane Tower as well. God. Got a new book. Discard a journal. We threw a surprise party for Ironfoot. How that idiot made it past 150 is a mystery, but it's cause for celebration either way. 
When he saw the fire whiskey we'd been brewing, I swear he teared up. I'd only a cup of the stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. The lunatic finished the barrel that night. I have no idea how he made it to his next... Wait, didn't we read, read this? I believe we read this. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to lead back to the boat. Uh, but we want to go up here and then down. So I guess that means back over here. Wand of fireballs, 8 to 48 damage. Ooh. You can use an action to cast a fireball from this broken wand. All very nearby creatures must make a dexterity saving throw. Weapon? A ranged weapon? I can't equip it. Hmm. Alright, we could go up here. But this is the path that leads down. the arcane tower. It's a usable item, I see. So I use it once? In combat, maybe? Uh, spattered diary. Badly charred diary with property of Woolbrin written on the inside cover. In one of the few legible entries, the author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Barkus again now that he's departed for the surface world. Oh, it's Woolbrin. So this was where Woolbrin was, the approachable East Volume 5. Let it be known that Sembia should be avoided at all costs. It is clearly home to an industrious sort of fellow, the sort who is quick to dismiss the country's history as a nether Rees vassal state, but will steal your notes from the Dale lands and sell you to pirates all the same. Thankfully, these pirates were set upon by another group of buccaneers who were more than happy to take a scribe on board. I was excited to document the voyage as we are headed to Thesk, the gateway to the east, where the road leads straight to Rashimen. Alas, I have spent almost all my time forging ship manifests. A is for Azuth and other gods. Ilmater hears the martyr's cries, takes in the ill and the oppressed. When one to help the other dies, then by Ilmater they are blessed. Yurgal, or so it's often said, once gave away his bony throne. For Kel Kelimvor, he tracks the dead, makes sure that dead souls do not roam. Kelimvor, lord of the dead, will take your hand when death arrives. Make sure, uh, make sure, makes sure souls are correctly led to all their proper afterlives. Oh. 
All right, we got a path up and a path down. Let's try the path down first. chest. Alright, we've got arrow of acid, arrow of darkness, and an antidote. Jerus. And alchemist aground. Acid vial. Bona. Another helmet. Okay, so dead end. Looks that way. So then we go up. Well, I can't get in there with my hand. Use the Mask of Illusions. All right. Uh, I mean, if my can't can't get in there, I'm not sure how a... Never a dull moment. All right, I'll try it. Nothing. Swift as my feet can carry me. Judd Knight says gas form. Uh, <laughs> uh, gaseous form is required. Okay. I used a scroll to do that last time. One of my One characters of has something that can turn them into a gaseous something or other. Uh, yes. What it was. Gale has the spell. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't see it. Prepared spells. Um, fog cloud. 
You have to sign it and add it. All right. Um, gaseous form. John Washburn says, trust me, halfling, not gnome, can get in. Okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Halfling. Mutatis mutatis. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm standing right next to it. Oh, there's another hole. The wall is riddled with holes. A suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. Survival, inspect the holes. Ah, we're not gonna make it. You recognize the odor. The foul scent of carrion crawlers. Centipede-like aberrations that feast on the dead. At one time, these caverns must have been their banquet hall. The creatures are either long gone or waiting patiently in the darkness. Uh-oh. Well, we could reach into one of the holes. Sure, why not? The passage narrows and bends. You're shoulder deep when your fingers brush against a fleshy tentacle. Mm. You flinch, but the tentacle is limp and cold. You push it aside and retrieve something loose lying beneath. That face, though. <laughs> Outlander nest egg. Karlak is inspired. Okay. Item received topaz. A gem of the desert birthed in flame. Okay. Yay. Okay, this looks dangerous. The Arcane Tower is this way. So we need to go up there. Should mind my step. Right, that was bad. That was very, very bad. Don't burn yourself. Crap. Better watch out. Let me load my save. Take two, let's try shooting them. Hopefully I'll do it from a far enough distance. Go. How much farther can I go? 
Oh, 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 that was the big bad boss thing. Oh, up the steps. Go, 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 go. Oh, I remember that from weeks ago. Uh-oh, uh-oh, survival failed. What does that mean? Is this the arcane temple? What is that thingamabob? What is all this fancy jazz up here? Something is burrowed in there, but it looks like a machine. We're a long way from Waterdeep. What is that? What is that? I'd love to, thanks. Are we under attack? Arcane turret. Oh no. Oh. There's a skeleton up there. There's another one. Okay, if I go around here and I go back there, I can climb up here to get over here, but then I'm gonna have another one. And I need to go up there. I could try to destroy it. It's only got 17 health. Maybe we'll try that. I have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. turn-based mode. Okay. Uh, what the heck? It's in, it's immune to pierce. What do I do? Lost in thought. Zero. Uh, okay. Wits and blades always sharp. Save. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. It's immune to Pierce, so... Zero! Okay. That's not good. Right. What to do? Um, Another step forward. Hmm. 
color spray. Can I, can I paint if over you it? Exist. Maybe it can't see me if I paint over it. I'm not, I'm not close enough. What am I to do? Hmm. Ready and willing. I venture forth. Oh, it's going for my spiritual weapon here. Right, uh, lightning. That did it. Okay, so lightning. Right. I've only got one character with who has lightning. My pleasure. Look ahead. Bardy Horn is nearly dead. Watching me. Start a conversation. Onward. Ever onward. Oh, come on. That was through the rock. It was through a rock. Salutations. Of course. See, target is blocked for me, but not for him. Get him out of here. Never wanted the easy path. Oh, I could go for a good meal. What next? I don't think that did much. Hmm. I'll take this way. Wasted it. Mind is the advantage. Should have wished to live in more interesting times. There we go. God. this way. Hmm. I applaud your taste. And now I'm out of lightning. And ice doesn't work. Okay. Well, we're officially over time, and I kind of wanted to just see what would work on these things. Oh, I could probably just, oh yeah. 
That probably would have been better. Conditions sturdy, resistances to slashing, piercing, necrotic, fire, lightning. What? Oh, it's weak to lightning. Immune to psychic, immune to poison, immune to necrotic, strong to fire. Uh, but ice didn't do anything to it either. Thankfully, we had just done a quick save. Lore Revolution says sturdy means you need a certain amount of damage to hit it at all. Oh. Odd X says sturdy says less than X damage does no damage. Let's see. One day I'll catch a break. ground. Better watch out. Oh, and this time I actually passed the saving throw. Okay, we're back here. Let's do a hard save. And that's going to be it for today. We'll pick up right here where we leave off next week. I'm so glad to be out of that one area. Uh, really confusing. Huge, tough, difficult battles with the Devagar, but we got through it. We advanced the plot. It took nearly the broadcast, but we did. Time to explore the Arcane Tower, and I believe we're going to be tackling that next week. Same Ox time, same Ox channel. For tomorrow, Scotch and Smoke Rings, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. We'll continue with the latest DLC for Resident Evil, Separate Ways. We've been having fun with that. And uh, then I'm going to be working on a lore video for the weekend. Hope you'll tune in for that, and that'll be this week's worth of content. Thanks for joining me for my last live streams, and I hope to see each and every one of you tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.